and in the end, the bear was the happy camper. And now our featured story. As many of you know, the holiday season is approaching, and an increasing threat of great proportion has arisen. Counterfeit toys have always been a problem, but in the past few years, they have grown increasingly more violent. Troy McFlane reports. Thank you, Stone. I'm standing here in a seemingly safe suburban neighborhood. But is it really safe? The answer is no. Over the past few months, numerous attacks have occurred across the country. Who are these culprits? Counterfeit toys. I investigate. Take a look at this Beanie Baby, America's most loved piece of crap. Look at its crudely taped neck, the trademark of this counterfeit. Take a look at the bow. Where is it, you ask? Exactly. This toy has been tampered with. Watch as the head is easily removed. A knife. A hazard. Danger. Daddy, I love my new toy. Watch as the boy is drawn to the hazard. Oh. Connection. <laughs> Blood. Good night, Mr. Bunny. Take a look at this beautiful boy and his bunny. A harmless image, right? Wrong. We look at this photo taken from the scene of the crime. The bunny is covered in anthrax. Next case. Halloween, 1994. This boy has been swept up in the English craze of Harry Potter. Let's just say, this boy has been swept up into heaven. Reading has done this boy in with a deadly assassin. Counterfeit broomstick. Look at this popular gaming console. What is it? The GameCube. No, the GameCube. Notice the slight difference in this counterfeit's label. This little Y means all the difference to your child's safety. Now watch this video clip. Darn it. What's the problem? Tragic. All very tragic. These counterfeit toys were all bought at the dollar store, so please, this Christmas, buy your toys at Walmart. Always low prices means always low quality. Always. Thank you.